don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell, and also comment and share. Our journey in St. Thomas begins with us looking for a grocery store near our resort in a safari, which is a local taxi. That's what a, the safari looks like. I know we didn't take a picture when we got in, but it's like an open bus and you just hop in and it's a dollar to get into it. So guys, here is the ferry. Uh, this is what brings you to uh, St. John. I'm not sure if it also brings you to St. Croix, but maybe. So this is what, um, this is where Sonia and I came yesterday to take the ferry to go to St. John. We didn't have time to film it yesterday because, girl, we were rushing. We missed our stop. We took the bus. We missed our stop and had to, like, run back here to grab the ferry. So here it is. I guess this is where the ferry docks and the other boats that docks over here. So this is kind of the boat you take to go to St. John. There's always a rooster on the road, guys. Look at that rooster. There's roosters everywhere here. We're going to Rekwa Plaza to try to find a store where we can brush or Look, another. Oh, this one is a chicken, not a rooster. I'm going to look at it. Oh, I didn't find it. This is what I talked to Cameron yesterday. Yeah, I didn't find it last night, but I'm going to look up. Alone. It's on the right side of um, Nigeria or on the left side? On the, on the right, right side. side. Oh, I was looking on the left. Yeah, that's Ghana, I think. Okay, okay. Do you need a taxi, sir? <laughs> okay. Well, you all have a good day. You yes, too. You too. And if you need me, just call me. Okay. Bye. So they have a couple of restaurants here. It's kind of like one of those stores if you go to the beach and you go in. What is it? Yeah, I saw those. Does it have a price? No, <laughs> They have some Black Lives Matter stuff, always. What is it? Aww. It's so cute. Can't find the price, we're gonna go ask. Oh. No, no, no. It is a $12.99, I bought against that. $12.99? Yeah, what? Yeah. Oh, no, we're not doing that. What? It is really expensive, guys. Twelve ninety nine for the regular white ones and the tie dye ones is twenty dollars. 
When you go to DC, it's like three for ten. <laughs> You're trying to go to the Fresh Mart, but there's nothing fresh in there. It's more like a 7 Eleven souvenir store. So now we're gonna. Yeah, they have onions and bananas, but that's not what we were looking for. We want like a grocery store, grocery store. So we're gonna walk around and see if we can find something. I'm gonna go across the street, I think. To try to see if there's something near. Now we're across the street. Uh, one thing I noticed, people here are very friendly. Most people say hi to you, good morning. So, I like that, especially the locals. The locals are super friendly. So we were across the street over there. Yes, and now we're here. I'm hoping there's a grocery store here because I'm hungry. And you know, we have to keep our mask on because Bruno's out here stumble up around this this is so funny uh, I see a drugstore but I still don't see a fresh place for food here guys so if you, yeah if you, if you want a foot long anything you can find it in St. Thomas Okay. There's the most fresh market. We're gonna go check that out. Hoping, we're crossing our fingers that there's actually something fresh in there. <laughs> so guys, I guess this is actually where we were supposed to be. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go in there and check what Joe's Fresh Market has. Uh, we're in the Joe's Fresh Market. Um, one thing I've noticed is that they have alcohol in the front supermarket there, which is awesome. I like the fact that they have alcohol in the supermarket <laughs> and not like you have to go to the liquor store to buy alcohol. How much is it? Yeah, this is $7. You can find it in Maryland for like $4. Hi. They have the food of too. So guys, things are so expensive. Like food that we like this box of cereal back home would be like three dollars at the max like sometimes you even find deals and you can get like two for five and this is eight dollars 7.99 like it's expensive the only thing that i find affordable here are taxi like transportation is the only thing that i really find affordable Stuff that we find back home, and that that stuff is expensive. So, 
so we'll keep but looking. I, mean, I can only think like, you know, as long as normal people, I'm pretty sure they're not over here buying themselves at all. There must be something. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna get groceries and be back. So we're back from the supermarket. Um, took us a while, but we got everything we needed. Now we made our breakfast. We have eggs, bacon, turkey bacon. We have some leftovers from yesterday. We have some meat, bread. And the rocks over there, rocks that brought from the beach yesterday. But look at that view, guys. Like, this is um, where we're staying. And that view is just amazing. Like, I can't get enough of it. I think tomorrow when we leave, I'm going to cry. <laughs> like, I'm going to shed tears. But yeah, we're going to eat and then head out. See ya. Here we are going through downtown St. Thomas in a taxi. Our driver was very nice and gave us some facts about the history of the island. Yeah, the new jail is where the palm trees in front there. That's a new jail. Okay, that's named the Alexander Powerly Justice Center. Who was Alexander Powerly? The third elected governor of the Virgin Islands. The road goes to St. Croix, the boat meets in two hours, $50 per passenger. Ah. The seaplane goes in 18 minutes for a hour and change. Ah. We saw some of those plane um, landing yesterday. In New Orleans? Yeah. 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 At the seaplane. Yeah. The ships and so forth come in. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, so we'll continue our vlog from St. Thomas. So we actually stayed at a resort. We stayed at the Point Pleasant Resort. It was a really nice resort. Um uh, I really liked it. Um I think Sonia did too. Yeah. Um so I'm just show you a quick snippet. So this is our kitchen. Um it came already with everything inside. So you see the toaster, the um a stove, um this thing y'all know what i'm you know i'm in a hurry <laughs> um plates and everything it, yeah it was fully booked um and then this is our eating area there's a phone there's a nice place if you have a laptop you can sit here um and then the sitting area living room um and our tv and then this was our room it's super cute we love the decor uh, definitely like beach, beachy vibe um, and this was the bathroom um, again simple but really nice uh, and what we loved about this room was this amazing view we woke up to this amazing view every morning and there's also an eating area outside with lots of chairs so you can relax and next to our room was a pool and a restaurant um but yeah just an amazing view we got so lucky um yeah it's just amazing and right over there is a beach it's called um pineapple beach um sonia and i actually walked there i have another short video we can show you guys and then we ended up on the other side where there's that um yellow building is koki beach um we also have a few snippets of video from there Hey, go, Sonia. <laughs> the Point Pleasant Resort is where we stayed. Uh, now it's our lobby, the resort lobby. I showed you the inside. Uh, they have this cute bench area. It's that amazing view. And then that's a lounge. Uh, Corona, you have to wear a mask. Every time you have to wear a mask. So you the lounge. There's maps, um, so that you know where you're going. There's cute paintings, some chairs, a TV, bathroom, and then, again, amazing view. 
uh, this Point Pleasant Resort has amazing view. You definitely want to have these buildings that kind of show you the really good view this way and this close to the beach. There's definitely re um, other views and other buildings up up there, but it's a little further. Sonia, say hi! hi. <laughs> So guys, that's Pineapple Beach. I showed it to you through our um, room. Our apartment was actually that building right there that I'm trying to point to. Um, yes, and where the yellow building is, the other side is Cookie Beach. Um, but this is an amazing view. We got so lucky. Uh, we are at the lobby turning on keys. This is the lobby of the resort, and that's Sonia over there with um, a very nice concierge that helped us. Um, but they have a cute lobby. Um, we're waiting for a taxi to come to get us. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell, and also comment and share.